so long for my voice to kick in in the morning that girl I probably was supposed to tie these up together at the top or something if y'all know how to do sock curls let me know what I did wrong <laughs> but we're gonna see anyway it's 5 I think it's like 5 15 right now and we just have a busy week or at least it feels like I do anyway so I was trying to decide if this was going to be like a 5 a.m. week in my life type of vlog where I'm getting up at 5 a.m. every day, kind of like an experiment type of thing, or if I'm just going to do like a productive busy week in my life because that's what it is. But <laughs> we're going to see how it goes. I'm up at 5 right now. I was about to go to the gym with Kayla. Um, I'm just not sure if I'm going to want to get up at 5 tomorrow and Wednesday because I'm off work on those days and I don't really have a reason to be up at 5 a.m. but oh clearly I did the left side a lot better than the right one but like I said we're just going to the gym and I just wanted my hair to have some movement so this will do for the morning Dreams. Glocks full of 10, we ain't Shanlin Ran through 50k, I ain't say cause it was easy Pretty girl, where you stay? Might as well be with me AMG the S, codeine cowboy in the flesh Caught up like the rest, but they look up to me Since it go left, tryna burn a bridge that's left <laughs> Treat her like the one, try to turn me to a two I don't keep receipts, say that shit, she know it's true Call me while I'm asleep, cry baby girl, I'm stuck on you Tell me boy, how you up with me? Know my cause while you in the stew Act funny when you ain't in the meat Hanging in my circle too Miss that hoe, I'm raising hell Break a hoe like Memphis Sam Bentley's talking to myself Guys, he say send it help Niggas trying to bring me down Okay, workout then i've been trying to switch up my workouts a little bit lately and just focus more on like repetition than going like excessive on the weight and i'm kind of digging it so we just did a quick little like workout with the cable machine and some kettlebells and then we got on uh, out of there thank you, ben, I'm thank you you too now i just have to make a couple more stops before i go home and get on the clock so i'm at the car wash right now Oh, uh, not the windshield wiper still on. My car definitely just rolled backwards in the car wash. They made me go in, bro. I feel like they always make me go in so close to the person behind me. I mean, in front of me. She's just like, and I'm like, girl, do you not see this car in front of me? Like, I'm about to hit him. And then my car starts rolling backwards in the car wash with another car behind me. I'm always just like so paranoid about having a car accident in the freaking car wash because it happened to one of my friends before. <laughs> like, could you imagine? My sister got me this car washing kit either for Christmas or my birthday. I think she got it for my mom for Christmas and then I wanted one too, so then she got me one. Something like that. But it came with literally everything. It has a little wash and wax that I'm probably never gonna use. A little sponge. I use this to like clean off the inside of my mirror. You know how your windshield gets like kinda just fogged up sometimes? I've been using this. And then it came with glass wipes, cleaning wipes, and some protectant wipes. But sometimes, I don't know which one of these. I think I tried to use the cleaning wipes on my steering wheel and it started to wipe the leather off like there was blue coming up on the wipes. So maybe not a good idea for that, but it's been coming in here. I have been smacking these Capri Suns, not gonna lie.
last stop i'm gonna run into target to nobody's surprise but i just need to do a quick little hygiene shopping restock they never have the coconut milk one that i want so let me just get this one these are on sale. I might have to try. I haven't tried these before, but I've been wanting to. I like smelled it too fast and just inhaled a bunch of alcohol. I have this one at home already. This one smells really good. And this one is like a dupe for the Sol Janeiro. Okay, try to ignore the little disaster going on in the background. But so we grabbed some Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, this Coconut and Rice Milk Method Body Wash. I've really been into the one that's just coconut milk and it comes in like a green, not a green bottle, but like the writing on it is green, but they didn't have that today and they never really have it at that Target, so I don't know why I tried, but a little Method Body Wash. I got this micellar water. I use this as a makeup remover and I'm all out. I got a four pack of these Big Soleil razors. And then I got this Saltaire. I've been wanting to try a body wash from Saltaire just because it's been all over the internet to be quite honest. So I got the Golden Hour Oil Infused Body Wash. This one was a little bit more expensive than the other ones, but I just like how it smelled and how it looked. It's so pretty. I don't know. It smells like summer. If y'all have ever smelled the Hawaiian Tropics sunscreen, that fragrance is this in a body wash. Yeah. Tell me what you see in me. Gotta be. I didn't end up clocking into work until like 10 15 ish this morning luckily they give us like an hour to an hour and a half grace period for like when we can start working it used to be three hours but it's okay um i didn't start working until like 10 15 so i just got off work like 30 minutes ago and the sun is literally screaming hold on <laughs> what y'all why is this sun so bright right now <laughs> anyway right now i'm on my way to go watch sunset it looks like i might either i'm gonna miss it or i'm gonna get there literally right as the sun is setting but i'm just gonna go watch the sunset with kayla we go up to like the rooftop at sac state just because it's a good i mean it's not the best view but it's just like a good little vibe we couldn't do it all throughout the winter because the sun was going down too early and we were not off of work yet so now the sun doesn't go down until like 7:45 ish we we just like to clock out and go chill and watch the sunset and then i think we're probably gonna go get crumble or something because they have peanut butter on the menu this week
How cute is this freaking planner? I got it at Target the other day and I almost didn't get it just cause it's not like a standard format for a planner. It's kind of more like a to-do list on one side and like a little weekly list on the other side. So definitely not gonna replace my full monthly planner that has like the calendar and everything in it. But this is a little cute and convenient just to write like my to-do list down because I do like to write my to-do list on paper versus like my phone or just like leaving the list in my head. The sun is really doing her thing right now. But how cute is this freaking planner? I got it at Target a couple of days ago and I almost didn't get it because it's not like the typical planner layout it's more of like a to-do list and then a weekly little list on the other side so it's not going to replace like my full monthly planner with like the calendar and all of that in it but it's just a cute little i don't know something to have around but anyway we have a few things to get done today a little bit of work and a little bit of play i'm gonna try to find a new little coffee shop or maybe even a bakery I feel like a bakery would be a cute vibe. I have my hair appointment at 1.30 to get this freaking hair taken down finally. I'm gonna miss it to be honest, but what I miss more is being able to put my hair in a freaking ponytail, y'all. <laughs> like when you have a sew in, you literally can't lift your hair off of your neck because the, all of like my braids and my everything like all this back here would just be showing and it's not it's not cute. It doesn't look right. You can't put your hair up in a high pony so i promise you as soon as this weave is out of my head it's ponytails and buns at least for a week <laughs> right i'm not getting it styled or anything right now i'm literally just getting my hair taken down and then she's gonna wash this was a lot <laughs> oh my god she's gonna take down my hair wash it blow dry it and i know i'm gonna be looking a little bit rough around the edges so i was like let me at least try to put on a little bit of makeup today so I don't feel too much like a ragamuffin when I come out of this hair appointment but mm, I'm kind of excited I haven't had my hair out in a little while I've been getting so in since like December and then I had braids religiously for a couple of months before that so I'm excited to just let my hair be free it doesn't always give me the best time I feel like I look better when I have protective styles in but that's kind of the state of mind that I'm trying to exit in feeling like I need to have a protective style in my hair in order for me to look good. Like, that's not a true statement. I just need to figure out how to style my hair so that I like how it looks. But regardless, I do think the blush is a little aggressive, but when is it not? Is it okay though? Do I look fine? Oh my gosh, I'm like, I don't even want to do my hair because she's literally about to take it down right now. Like, why would I go through putting heat damage on this hair? But I do still have to go sit out in public for a couple of hours, so maybe I will do my hair and we'll get out of here. First person shoot them all, turning your son to a funeral. To them niggas that say they want office, you better be talking about working in Cuba codes. Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code. A lot of niggas debating my numero. Not the three, not the two, I'm the Q and O. Yeah. 
Jumbo World, you ain't know Me and Jersey, this shit like the Super Bowl Man, this shit done it big as the the Super Bowl, but the difference is, it's just two guys playing shit that they did in the studio, niggas usually send they verses back to me and they be terrible just like a two year old, I love a dinner with some fine women when they start debating about who the gold, I'm like go ahead, say it then, who the gold, who the gold, who the gold, who the gold, who you bitches really rooting for, like a kid that had been from January to November, nigga it's just you and cold. Niggas so thirsty to put me in beef I sat in my words and start looking too deep I look at the tweets and start sucking my teeth I'm letting it rock cause I love them to see I still wanna give me a song who I be Can't trust everything that you saw on IG Just know if I diss you I make sure you know that I hit you Like I'm on your call ID I'm naming the album to fall off It's pretty ironic cause shit ain't gonna fall off with me I'm still in this bitch keep me good at All right go get this hair taken care of. I had to put on a hat today because I know Every I'm going to cover it up when I get out of here. She can get it, say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Hands up high. Hands up high. Tell them to the lights down right now. Put me in the mood. I'm talking about dark moon perfume. Go, go. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, mm. And I know your taste is a little bit, mm, high maintenance, mm. Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis With poetic justice, poetic justice If I told you that a flower bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs, dedicated to you when You're in the mood for empathy, blood in my pen Better yet with your friends and them I really wanna know you all. I really wanna show you all. Fuck like the pull up, play me champagne. Cold nights, you curse this. You called up your friends and your girl in little bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. Big ass hair. <laughs> all right, this is the current state of my hair right now. It's very thick. She gave me a little trim. I think she cut maybe like one or two inches off the bottom. So yeah, I never rock my hair like this. Like I always just wanna straighten it out some more. I'm probably still gonna blow dry it again once I get home just to like bring it down some. <laughs> outside of the club, outside the things that a man like me does. Outside of the things that would cause you to judge Outside of the club So I was I blow dried my hair a little bit more so it's a little I don't know I feel like it's just moving better than it was earlier but there are two types of people in this world you have me burrito bowl rice bean steak cheese sour cream this is literally the worst burrito bowl I've ever seen in my life <laughs> what like why didn't they stack it upright this is crazy then you have kayla she got a veggie salad with white rice beans and cheese a little bowl here's where it gets crazy Three sides of tortillas, a side of corn, a side of queso, a side of sour cream, a side of guac, and a side of pico. Good morning. 
I wanna show y'all our little creations from last night. I decided to try and make some coasters because I wasn't sure if this clay is like safe to eat off of, so I didn't wanna make like a dish or anything like that. But I made these weird little abstract shaped coasters. But this one, <laughs> oh my God. If y'all have ever seen like a bubble coaster or a bubble plate, that was the idea with this. <laughs> That's what I was trying to create, but girl, like what even is this? I'm gonna have to use this just as like a jewelry tray or something instead and just like buy a bubble coaster if I want one. But I went a little bit simpler with these. So this is just like a weird little coaster. And then I have this one. That's another random little abstract shape. And then a heart shaped coaster and they have to air dry for two to three days is what they said. They feel pretty dry already, honestly. We're supposed to let them dry for a couple of days before we paint them, but they feel dry enough to me. So <laughs> we might just paint them later tonight. But here is Kayla's creation. She's making a little ashtray. Okay. I don't know why I always look so washed out when I'm sitting right in front of the window. Cause I feel like that's supposed to be my best lighting. But I think it's just because the sun only comes directly through this side of the house like first thing in the morning when the sun is rising. But I'm really determined lately to get into my short form content bag because I'm sure y'all know the short form creators are eating right now. Short form is, short form is where it's at. And I always, I think I just be like overthinking it and what kind of videos to create or whatever. So I'm gonna show y'all my little setup over here. I look a hot mess right now, but but this is my little setup. I'm gonna do a quick little like morning skincare reel type of thing right here. And we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the lighting on my phone is better than the camera. There's such a learning curve with short form content and like trying to figure out how to set everything up and what clips I need, how to like use my back camera and be able to tell if I'm still even in frame. Am I in there? <laughs> All right, let's do this, y'all. This umbrella stay. The way we move and things, I won't complain. I won't go. Okay, I'm kind of close to this camera, but I like have to be close to my phone, so sorry if I'm like all up in y'all's face. What's this? Is this in the center? What it's made for. You don't want to miss the main call. Just to focus on your girl, please to be focused. Y'all, I tried to do a freaking skincare video the other morning and I was like out of focus the whole time. Oh my god. Boom, step one, done. Now, after that, I put on my snail stuff. <laughs> My cap is missing, no. That's gonna suck. My ASMR is like not gonna hit, but I don't have time to look for the cap right now, so. Was that right? Am I in focus now again? I was supposed to put on my eye stuff first, so I'm gonna just do that out of order. Okay. My Fenty cherry tree is literally empty. I'm scraping the sides of this. I need to go buy a new one. Okay. That's a wrap. Hopefully it came out good. If not, then I'm just not gonna post it and I'm gonna have to keep practicing. But look at this handy dandy little tripod that I got on Amazon, y'all. 
And this bottom like opens up into a stand if I need it. It's super compact. I have it on my Amazon storefront if y'all want one. But anyways, I'm going to go get a little good workout on. I'm going to do a hot ISO workout today at Hotworks. So let's get to it. Okay, the Hotworks membership is going to be a no-go for me. I really enjoyed the Pilates one when I did it, but then I did like the hot buns workout and then that one we just did was hot ISO. And they're just like, okay, like they're challenging, but they're not as fun to me as just like weightlifting or my regular workout. I don't feel as tired, fatigued, sore, or nothing like that. Like it's good for a good little sweat though, so... If anything, I would probably pay to come back and just do their like single workouts. You can just pay $27 to come and do a workout. But the monthly membership, I don't know. I know in my last video, I was kind of like excited about it and like thought that it would be something that I could try. But maybe I'll just have to try Pilates because I think it was the Pilates that I enjoyed more so than the hot sauna aspect of it or like the, the hot works. And then the other thing is, while they do have like a multitude of different workouts, the workout that I choose would be the same every time. So if I wanted to do hot Pilates, like it would be the same class, the same movements, the same instructor every single time. So I don't know. It's definitely cool for some, you know, couple sessions at a time if I ever just want to get a quick little sweat, but I don't see myself paying a monthly membership. Is your favorite color blue? Cause you something like a 